the box model that we use when designing websites. The easiest way to do this in Bricks is via shape dividers and you can add as many shapes as you want to any block. So we can add shapes to our sections, our rows, our columns, but also individual elements like this image element or our heading here if we want to highlight it with a certain shape pointing towards it. Then we can do so inside the builder. But the example that I want to show you now in this video is I want to have a little tilt here on my right hand column. So I break up this boring divider here between those two columns. So what I would do here in this case, I would edit my column, go to shape dividers and add my first shape. You can add more shapes down here and you can add as many as you want. You can also rearrange them, their order. But our first shape is going to be a tilt, which we're not going to see now because we need to move it to the front, otherwise it's behind our image here. And we also need to adjust our color. Then we're going to flip it and we're going to reduce our width. And you can see now you have a few clicks I did this beautiful shape divider. Now you have this little tilt here, but I'm also going to clone it to move it to add another tilt on the right hand side here that will match our background color. So horizontal alignment, bottom end, okay, and this one should be white. And now you can already see within less than a minute I've added those two shapes to my column here and this already looks much better. I could add the same column of course to this column, the same tilt, sorry. And let's first flip it so I know what I'm doing here. Width again, can be also 40 pixel, 40. And then we make it white. And now we also have our break here. Maybe in that case, I would actually align my typography. And now our section uh, looks like this with those two columns here. Well, of course, I can add more shapes. If I want to say, let's add a little square to it. A little square. 60 pixel height and width and then also want to move this at the end here but maybe I want this to overlap then I would say bottom minus 30 because of the height of our shape here 60 pixel and then on the left hand side we also move it 30 to the left and we want this to overflow because by default you can see now it doesn't overflow our column now it does. And you can also rotate it if you want to have this in a certain angle. In my case, I just put 45 degree. And that's basically everything you need to know about uh, shape dividers. You can mix and match them, add into any block, um, change all sorts of properties for them. Just play around with them. I use them here now for my columns, but you would also most often actually probably use them between your sections to break them up a little bit. And yep, that's everything about shape dividers.